So, so again, 22-year-olds who are coming out of college, very competitive uh, environment out there. But many want work-life balance. Uh, you know, many are looking um, for more than just working, uh, you know, the 80, 90, sometimes 100 hours. Is it possible to be successful and yet have this, um, this, this desire? I, mean, I think it's absolutely possible. I, I think, first of all, working a couple of years at that pace is not the end of the world as long as it leads to something better. When I was graduating business school, I, I, a lot, there was huge peer pressure to go to an investment bank, that, that the, the goal of every single person in my class, class of 82 at HBS, seemed to be working for Goldman Sachs. And when I looked around, and I, I had those interviews to see what everybody else was so excited about, and you looked at the partners, I, I thought there was huge information there, that the partners were basically 100% male, almost 100% divorced, almost 100% fat, and almost 100% bald. <laughs> and that, did, that didn't, seem like, didn't seem like something to give away your best 10 or 15 years, and then you'd be so lucky as to join that group. Um, and, and when I had the opportunity, with a very uncertain plan of, of, of a startup firm that I didn't own any of, to see what it would become and whether it would be successful, I nevertheless chose it, partly because I was excited to stay in Boston and not get caught up in the rat race in New York. And I also thought, I'm good at certain things, Competing 100 hours a week won't be one of them because there'll always be someone else that can do 110 hours. But but being recognized for what the things I can bring to the table are in terms of a certain investment perspective, a certain discipline, a certain risk aversion that maybe other people didn't have would be a good thing. So I, I, all I would say is try to hold out. If you have to work for a couple of years to, to get the next offer or to get into business school, fine. But remember, that's not your, your goal is not to be working 100 hours a week. Your goal is to get into a situation that recognizes you for who you are. That if you ever are going to work that hard, try and have it be on your own nickel. Try to be an entrepreneur. And at least you're, you're doing it for you, not for somebody else who you can hold you better accountable than, than you can hold the boss accountable. And if you do work that hard, at least the rewards will also go to you. So if you can be an entrepreneur, um, especially if you're going to work that hard.